The Cost Analyzer is the latest module in Serverless 360, and it offers three core features. Analyzing your spending across all of your subscriptions, setting predefined budgets and monitoring your spending, including alerts when nearing your budget limits, and then optimizing your spending by defining an optimization schedule for your resources. Over here in the analysis section, you can use these filters at the top to create multiple views of your overall spending. And this is right now at the subscription level. Or maybe you wanna get down to the resource group level for your applications. You can then filter down to a single resource group. Or if your apps span multiple resource groups, you can use Azure tags as a filter. You can even get down to how much you're spending on a particular type of resource. Another way to look at the data is to compare this month with your last month, as well as creating charts based on all of those billing tags. For example, here's the EAI platform tag, as well as all of those untagged resources. Once you have your filters set the way that you like, you can export your graph as an image into your Azure storage account, and then share it with whomever you like. Now you know where all of your investments in the cloud are going, but what if you wanna keep your spending within a particular limit? Well, over in the monitoring section, you can create alerts, which will send out notifications so you can see exactly what's going on. To set this up, click on monitor settings, and you can add some rules at the top or click the edit button right over here. Now this rule is looking at the entire subscription's actual cost. Click next, and you have the option here of adding filters for just those specific resources you're interested in then click next again. You can set a static budget limit with a number like 100, or you can click over here and set a dynamic limit. So the big question is what happens if you go over those budget limits? At this phase of the preview, you'll only be getting an alert. This is after all the monitoring section, but you can set some restrictions. On the left, click on optimization, and I've got an optimization schedule already configured here. Now it's important to remember that in the cloud, you only pay for what you use. So if you have a VM that only runs for two hours in a day, that's all you're paying for. But it can be really tricky to schedule and automate all those things to power on at the right time and then power off when they're done so that you don't have something running that you're not using. But click over here on your resources and you can click this link to schedule a new resource or check the box for an existing one to modify. Now, one of the questions I get asked all the time is how will I know how much I'll be saving if I choose to power off my VMs when I'm not using them? And I always have to say, it depends. Then I go and get out my calculator and give them a rough guess of that VM size running for this many hours. It breaks down into this much money, so you'll save this much percentage. However, if you click this settings link, you can see the red blocks here showing when the VM is powered off and the green ones when it's running. And to change them, you can just click on any of the boxes. Then over on the right, you have the numbers of up and down times with their estimated savings. Then all of this integrates with the alerting if you wanna receive notifications on all of that. And as of this recording, this feature is supported for virtual machines and app service plans only. But that list will be expanding in the future. And just like in all the other Serverless 360 modules, you have user management and access controls so that everyone can be limited to just the functions that you want to specify. And that's always a good practice. So to recap, we have the new cost analyzer module that'll help you filter your spending across all of your subscriptions down to each business application. And then you can set up monitoring and alerts with budgets and notifications, and then optimize the spending on your resources so that they power on and off just when you need them to help keep your costs down. Now, if you have any feedback to improve these features, drop that in the comments section down below. And you should click over here to learn how Serverless 360 will help you document your entire environment. Happy learning.